In the backdrop, Ryan, this attempted assassination of a former president. That's right, Didi. Investigators have now accessed the phone and laptop of that shooter, Thomas Crooks, who you see behind me right here. After reviewing his search history and interviewing family and friends, still tonight, no clear motive, according to those federal authorities. Crooks' parents now cooperating with the investigators, we are told. They say their son didn't show any obvious political leanings. The Pentagon also saying he was not affiliated with any branch of the military. New reports just out today now say there were three snipers stationed inside of that building that the shooter was on top of. That according to CBS News. As for the two men critically injured, James Copenhaver and David Dutch, they are recovering tonight. A Trump-sponsored GoFundMe page, you see it here, has now raised more than $4 million for those victims, including retired Fire Chief Corey Campinatori, who was killed. The director of the Secret Service, Kimberly Cheadle, says she has no plans to resign tonight, even with growing calls for her to do so. Now, earlier today, Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert of Colorado introducing a bill to actually prohibit federal funding being used to pay for her salary. I have 100 percent confidence in the United States Secret Service and what you saw on stage on Saturday with respect to individuals putting their own lives at risk for the protection of another is exactly what the American public should see every single day. Let's take a live look out here over Capitol Hill tonight where the House Oversight Committee now asking the Secret Service for specific documents that include text messages, emails and any pre-site surveys from that location all identifying security concerns about the rally site.